Good day, guys. It's Calvin from the Cartoon Company. I've come out to a bit of a job uh, to have a look at a car that isn't running. And this vehicle's fitted with a Link ECU. And it's got an issue with the earths. So we're just going to have a really quick look at it. I know I've done earths before on a KZ powered Prado, but this one uh, is doing a few weird things when I got my Tesla out. So let's have a quick look. So we have a ST215 Caldina. Had a different manifold fitted. A few bits and pieces under the bonnet. And it's just had the, the gearbox out. And I did suspect it had an earth off. So if we go inside the cabin. So I'm in the cabin. And what it's got is it's got a link G4 Storm, an early Storm here, single plug. And going into this plug here, we've got red wire at the top is an, is a power, and there's no, no, no power to it. I did actually um, have a bit of look under the bonnet and bridge out the EFI relay. All right, I put my test light in and the fan turned on, which was interesting. And then we've got some earths here, and here in this corner the two black wires so I've gone into and here is the uh, heater relay which I've popped out on the floor and you can see my test light lights up so it should test light up when I go into these two earths and it doesn't there nor there and if I go I've earthed out the other side of the test light now into there, no power. So we've got an earth problem in here somewhere. Under the bonnet, looking at some relays and fuses. EFI relay is this one. And I've got uh, power at that one. And this one should have an earth at it. Uh, when I put it to power on the other side of my test light, but it doesn't. This one's got power, which is your permanent battery power. When I go into this one, nothing happens. However, I plug the link back in. The fan goes. Another sign, this fan. Another sign that we've got an earthing problem. So I'm going to search around somewhere where this gearbox came out, the earth is off, and hopefully that's going to fix it. You can see there's a bit of a glow through that circuit. So I'll let you know what I find when I find it. So I'll be working away under here. Down, down there. I had my hand, see, dirty, squeeze my hand in, blood, and found where the earth was bolted onto the bottom of the intake manifold and I sort of gave it a wiggle it wasn't loose as such but now oh wait oh and I found these black wires but it's that wasn't really anything suddenly I had uh, earth at the main EFI relay and come inside when we plug the relay in I now have voltage I'll check the earths as well I still don't have earths, but I've got... I'm on the right one. Wait, I'm in the wrong place, aren't I? Got to go to power. So I'm using the heater. In the back there, there's the heater relay. It has the main power. There's power. So let's see if we get power when I go into these earths. Still nothing there. Still nothing there. So I've solved one problem but not the second one. I think the easiest way in this case at the moment is to splice into both of those and give it an earth inside the cabin and see what else we find. Try and get it going. So I quickly just spliced in a couple of earth wires, ran it up under a bolt under there for the temporary and now when I plug the link in, we have a light on. So that's definitely positive. 
Hopefully I'll get some communication with the ECU. Well that sounded positive. My laptop made noise. Connect ECU. Whoop whoop. I have communication with the ECU. Hopefully the car will now run. We're going to plug some coils in and see if we can make some noise. Turn that fault code off. Clear fault codes. Yes. All right, came back. Plug the sensor in. I don't think this car's been running in a while. No. How long has it not been running for? Two years? Smells like a car that hasn't been running for a couple of years. Started pretty good for a car that hasn't run for two years. Fold code's cleared. No more check light. First start after a couple of years. Gotta be happy with that. I'd say it's been parked in that patch right there for two years. That dead patch where there's no grass. We've been not running for too long because that split water hose. Yeah. Fix that. Fix the water hose. Change the oil. Change the oil. Yeah, and I, I really want to see that loom lifted. Yeah. Find where if those earths are. And um, yeah, just check it over. Then put back in. Oh, I'm happy, eh? It's good. Well, the customer's got a bit more work to do, but my job is done. <laughs>